Hello everyone and welcome back to the Neon Revolution. Today's episode, we have Lance's Charizard V uh, collection box. Very excited about this. This was the only one on any store shelf that I went to. Um, and it was at Barnes & Noble. They had a couple, but they would only let me buy one, which is fair. That way we don't, you know, give out all the, uh, you know, Charizards, because I definitely would have bought them all. But, uh, let's get this open so we can see what is inside. Obviously, they were going to do a Charizard box. I mean, I, who wouldn't? So it comes with a foil card, big card, uh, four celebration packs, two additional packs, information sheets. Ooh, I'm gonna get some info here apparently. So, oh man, before we even get further, you guys see that little Pikachu's on the side? I was kind of wondering why there's this big gap right here. Huh, interesting. We'll go ahead, open this up. Let's get the uh, Charizard out. Oh, nice and carefully. Boom, all right, so there we go. Lance's Charizard, it's got like a nice sheen to it. Looks like it's in pretty good condition. This is one, obviously it's a Charizard. We're gonna go ahead and sleeve up. And sleeve up again. Obviously Charizard, one of the more expensive cards, if not the most expensive card. Um, on average in all of the TCG and then a jumbo of the same card right there so yeah not not a bad box and yeah look at that boom we got an information card all right I'll uh, you can pause it there if you want I'm not gonna read through it uh, I'll set that off to the side uh, one Two, ah, oh, Battle Styles again. Ooh, Battle Styles. Battle Styles, just me and Battle Styles don't, don't exactly get along. What do we got behind you? Is that uh, Vivid? No, Darkness of Blaze. Okay, how am I with Darkness of Blaze? Chance to pull Charizard. How awesome would that be to pull Charizard VMAX from Darkness of Blaze from the Charizard box? All right. So, toss all of that in the recycling. Got four of those, then Darkness Blaze Battle Styles. That's the order that we're going with. So yeah, let's jump to that close up and start opening some Pokemon cards. Alrighty, we are back. Starting off Battle Styles. Get that done out of the way. Uh, chase card for us for this set, obviously. Obviously, well, maybe it's not obvious. I still want the uh, Tyranitar after the feast. Uh, I am missing that card, something fierce in my collection. Let's see what we get. Galarian, Mr. Mime, Fomentus, Sparrow, Zubat with that knitted artwork. I actually think we're missing that card too. Cubone, Energy. We will get that right out of there. All right. We got Buffalant, Level Ball. All right, so there is your Reverse Hollow, the last card of the pack. Galarian Slow Bro. Uh, not, uh, not the best set. Um, I think out of all the battle styles that I've opened, which is one Elite Trainer box, a couple of blisters, and a bunch of single packs, I think that I've had the worst luck out of that set in terms of pulls. Ooh, loose pack, ooh. Um, versus anything else. Any other set. Even Sword and Shield, the one that I've always had bad luck with. I've had better luck with that than I have with Battle Styles. So, let's see what we get out of here. Darkness Blaze. Chance to get Charizard V Max. Torchic. Trepinge. Jigglypuff. Ducklet. Another electric energy, back-to-back -back electric energy. Maybe it's gonna be a day of Pikachus. Uh, let's see, Cape of Toughness, Toxel, Reverse Hollow, 
and a wiggly top, so no reverse holo rares, no holographic rares, no ultra rares, hyper rares, rainbow rares, nothing. So that means hopefully all the hits are in these packs right here, starting off. We are still missing plenty of cards from the subset of this. Um, Blastoids and Venusaur from the big three. We are missing. Um, Cause yeah, Oof, we have not, we've, we've had good luck. Don't, don't get me wrong. We have definitely had good luck, but we are still missing some. So starting off, we got Kyogre, then Ho-Oh, Zekrom, this is probably one that we've pulled the least, honestly. And full art base set, Pikachu. Um, A lot of people complain about pulling this card. I don't mind pulling this card. I think a PSA 10 of this is gonna be 100 to $200 just because it's that nostalgic artwork. I think it's going to do just fine on the secondary market if you are into selling your cards. Um, the other cards, I. You know, they're stamped with 25th anniversary. Well, I don't think they're going to be worth a crazy amount of money right now. I do genuinely believe that they are going to be worth a lot of money in another 25 years. Uh, it, it sounds crazy to think, oh, well, yeah, in 25 years, um, if Pokemon is still around, which it should be because it's Pokemon. Um, yeah, I think that uh, I think they'll still be around for plenty of time. Starting off, Ho-Oh and Lugia. The uh, legendary birds. Then we got uh, no. So all right. So two again. Two packs back to back. No big hits. And Lunala. That's a that's another one that we don't pull a lot of. So I'm alright with getting that. Groudon, Kyogre are the two that we we have pulled definitely the most. Then probably Ho Oh and Lugia. But so the hit ratio is supposed to be 50%. And this is the fourth one two. Or fifth, fifth product, sixth, sixth product, sixth product that I have opened, and I have never once hit that 50% mark of hits at all, ever. I've never even, uh, 40%, I think, is the best, and um, I've never gone over, never gone over 50%. So, hopefully, if these two last packs both have hits, then we'll hit it today, but that'd be the first time. Groudon, Xerneas. Oh man, Kyogre, so if we hit on the last one, it'd be 25%. And Soul Galeo. Alright, so um yeah. Wow. Kinda kinda hurting in terms of hits. Uh I mean again, it's hard to complain. We did pull two Charizards already. But if you know everybody else, if the average is 50%, I'm not getting 50%. So it's it's a weird place to be like all right i'm not getting the amount of hits that i should be but the hits you know when they do come in but then again i'm also missing blastoids Venusaur, shiny magic card dark gyarados uh shiny gold card mew so hopefully last pack magic get a good hit starting off ho oh come on ho you protecting something behind you? Cosmoem. Okay. All right. Cosmoem. Something good. Something good. A clay doll. This is from the subset. It is a good hit. This is one that we have already. I think this might even be our third. And a surfing Pikachu V. So not, not bad on the back half either. But, I mean... Clay Dow, I think, I think Clay Dow, from what I've been seeing online, I mean, it's only going for four or five dollars if you were, you know, to resell it um, on the secondary market. So it's, it's not even like a, a great, like, oh, well, I've, I've got a duplicate of it, I'll sell it. Or Charizard, obviously, ungraded right now. Um, it's going for 150 uh, and up. It's not, it's not crazy rare, but. Um, but yeah, it's still a Charizard card. And it's a base set Charizard um, artwork. So, I mean, we've, yeah, we've had good pulls. We've had good luck so far. Um, 
think these would probably be as I shuffle the cards behind the camera. I think honestly these three right here would be our best. Two Charizards, uh, both stamped the 25th anniversary and the Mega Rayquaza EX card. I think these are our best and we're hoping to add to it today. Unfortunately, the uh, Pokemon gods have said no, but you know what? I mean, base set Pikachu, that full art version, Surfing Pikachu, VMAX, and Clay Doll. I mean, they're hits, they're good hits. You can add them to the collection. Uh, I do definitely want to get some of those others, and I'm hoping I don't have to crack into my secret stash of them in order to do that. But that is it for me today. Thank you guys so much for watching, liking, subscribing, all of that goodness. It does absolutely mean the world to me. And I will catch everyone in the next one.